Hi guys, welcome sa CP9. In this video, ay magsasolve na naman tayo ng isang challenging na problem. No, uh, ang problem na to ay galing sa isang uh, PowerPoint, no. To in particular, uh, Beamer siya. Beamer presentation from uh, Math 17 o yung Algebra and Trigonometry ng UP Diliman. So ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa baba para makita niyo yung source, no. At para ma-acknowledge din natin. Okay, so kung gusto niyo i-try muna, medyo mahirap-hirap ito, no. And uh, Pwede nyo i-try. No? Tapos, uh, balik na lang kayo. No? Uh, pag meron na kayo sagot. So, pwede nyo i-post muna yung video. Pagkatapos nito ay sagutin na natin. Okay. So, sana na-post na nyo yung video. No? Uh, sagutin na natin. So, i-simplify natin itong uh, expression na ito. Um, using laws of exponents. I think wala naman tayo ibang gamitin lang dito kundi laws of exponents. Okay? Uh, pwede natin i-simplify itong ito at saka ito, no? Using the law a to the m raised to n is equal to a raised to the mn. Diba? Ito yung law of exponent natin. Now, sinasabi dito na pag meron kang uh, isang expression na nakaraise sa exponent tapos may parenthesis at ni-raise mo sa ibaba, pwede mo i-multiply yung mga exponents nila. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-simplify to yung 1 minus n times n, pwede natin siyang isimplify to n minus n squared. No? So meaning, yung ating expression sa taas ay 10 raised to n minus n squared. At yung nasa ibaba naman, syempre, yung n times n plus 1 becomes n squared plus n. Diba? So magiging 1,000 1,000 times no, not times, but to the n squared plus 1. n squared plus n. Exponent yung n squared plus n. Ano? And then times, yes, is muna natin yung n squared plus 2 over 100 to the 3 minus n. Okay? So, isa na. Tapos na natin yung isang task natin. Pangalawa is, Maganda, para madali mag-cancel, gagawin nating powers of 10 lahat. No? Kasi may 10,000, may 100, tapos may 1,000. So, powers of 10. Ano ba ang 1,000? 10 cubed, di ba? Tapos yung 100, syempre 10 squared. At yung 10,000, 10,000 is 10 to the fourth. So, pwede nating palitan siguro. No? So, this is equal to as is muna yung 10 to the n minus n squared. So, magiging, yung 1,000 dito, magiging 10 cubed siya, di ba? At raised to the n squared plus n. Tapos ito, magiging 10 to the fourth raised to the n squared plus 2. n squared plus 2. Exponent, no? And then yung sa baba, magiging 10 squared raised to the 3 minus n. Okay? Balik na naman tayo dun sa law of exponent na ginamit natin kanina na yung a to the m raised to n is equal to a raised to the mn. So, pag meron kang exponent, expression raised to an exponent, tapos may another exponent sa labas ng parenthesis, you multiply, no? So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-multiply ito dito. So, 4 times n squared plus 2 equals 4n squared plus 8. Tapos itong nandito, four times n squared plus 2 is equal to 4n squared plus 8. Tapos yung ito, yung nandito, 3 times n squared plus n is equal to 3n squared plus 3n. Tama ba? Tapos yung nandito is 2 raised to the, oh sorry, 2 times 3 minus n is equal to 6 minus 2n. So pwede natin palitan yung mga exponents, di ba? Okay. Next we have, as is yung nasa taas, 10 to the n minus n squared. Tapos 10 to the, yung nasa iba ba? 3 yun, di ba? 3n squared plus 3n. 3n squared plus 3n. 
times 10 raised to the 4n squared plus 8, 4n squared plus 8 over 10 to the 6 minus 2n. Okay, natapos natin yung isang task na erase lahat o, o na gawin lahat ng base na 10. Okay? Next, we use another law of exponent. Yung law na pag meron tayong a raised to n plus n, this is a raised to m times a raised to n. So pag i-split natin itong mga to, no? at pag meron tayong a raised to m minus n, ay eh pwede rin natin siya isulat as plus pa rin, di ba? a m plus negative n. Pwede naman, di ba? Kasi ang m minus n ay a to the m plus negative n, which is a to the m times a to the negative n. Pwede naman, di ba? Although yung a to the negative n, pwede yung 1 over a to the n. Of course, pag over a to the n na siya, yung a natin dapat hindi 0. But uh, wala tayong problema kasi 10 naman yung base natin. So, isplit natin yung mga uh, expressions, no? So, magiging 10 to the n times 10 to the negative n squared. Diba? Yung nasa ibaba ay 10 to the 3n squared times 10 to the 3n. Pantay natin yung equal sign. Baka mapagalitan tayo ng proof natin. May proof ako na ganun before. Pag hindi pantay yung equal sign mo doon sa fraction bar, magbamainos siya ng 0.5. Okay, so magiging 10 to the 4 n squared times 10 to the 8th and then 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 2n. Sandali lang, ano? may ingay yung ref. Okay, so I'm back. So, ano pwede natin gawin? Yung mga common, pwede na natin uh, i-multiply, no? Yung mga pwede. Uh, i-multiply, multiply na natin. So, yung nasa itaas, for example, itong 10 to the negative n squared tsaka 10 to the 4 n squared. Pwede natin yan i-combine, di ba? Kasi, dun pa rin sa law na a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Pwede na natin i-multiply yan. So, pag minultiply natin yan, ipa-plus natin yung exponent, magiging negative n squared plus 4n squared, which is 10 to the 3n squared. Di ba pag nag-multiply naman tayo ng fraction, minumultiply natin yung numerator at denominator, di ba? So, multiply na natin lahat ng mga denominators at numerators. Or mga expressions sa numerator at denominator. So, magiging 10 raised to n times... 10 raised to the 3n squared, no? Ito na yun nandito. Times 10 to the 8th. Probably pwede na tayo mag-cancel dyan. But, but uh, ito naman, magiging 10 to the... Anong common dito? Pwede nga. Itong dalawang ito, pwede na to. So, 10 to the 3n times 10 to the negative 2n plus natin yung 3n saka negative 2n. 10 to the n na lang yan. So, 10 to the n, itong dalawang yan, pag minultiply, times 10 to the 3n squared, ito yon. times 10 to the 6. So, cancel, 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 cancel. Ano ang 10 to the 6, or 10 to the 8th over 10 to the 6? 10 to the 8 minus 6, which is equal to 10 squared, which is equal to 100. Okay, so ang sagot natin ay 100. Okay, so, sana tama yung sagot nyo, no? Uh, pwede yung, kung hindi nyo masyado na-gets, pwede yung i-review yung mga loss of exponents. Kung mapapansin nyo, puro loss of exponents lang yung ginamit natin, di ba? O tayong ginamit na iba. Ibang concept. Okay, so, maraming salamat. Uh, sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa ating video. Uh, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. And before I... Uh, finish this video, gusto kong invite sa ating website, sip9.com at sa ating uh, YouTube channel na youtube.com slash user slash sip9ph 
Maraming salamat. Mag-subscribe kayo guys, no? Uh, kasi maraming pa tayong i-upload. See you!